Hello everyone, this is Tatiana Pashalish for CalvinAir.com coming to you from the Genting Club at Resorts World here in the beautiful Manila and Philippines. Over the next four days, we are here to give you the full coverage and to find out who's going to be the new APT Manila champion. There were a lot of players coming in, some, some, some good poker players from all over Asia actually, from Malaysia, from Hong Kong and from China. What we tried to do with APT, not only do we have this main event which is 2,700 2, US, but we have 10 to 12 side events that are very, very economic. Along with the main event, several side events were also lined up for this year's APT. But the two events that attracted the most attention were for sure the high roller and the super high roller. On my right is the first Asian super high roller that costed over 120,000 US dollars to enter and attracted players like Tom Duan and Phil Ivey. 5K buy-ins, 10K to 20K. Now it's going up to 101 million. Do you think it's going to cause the poker community to crash one day? I don't think so. I think there's a select few, a few of us who play at that level, and then it gives something for others to aspire to, to say, I want to play in the 100K event one day. Quite frankly, if you can't afford it, don't do it. Simple. You know, I, play, I play both. I play high rollers as well, but not too high. Like 200,000 is a bit high. High rollers are a lot of fun, but I still think winning big main events is like there's nothing quite like it. From 254 players that started day 1 A and B, 137 came back to battle it out during day 2. How's your table right now? It's a really aggressive table, so chips are flying, a lot of big stacks, and I could bust, but I could get a big stack. It's a pretty tough table, like there's no, everyone seems like they know what they're doing, so I'll just do my best and see what happens. The turnout's really positive, it, we opened up really strong, we're keeping it strong, the players are happy. You know, we're down to 97 out of the 137 that came back today, so... That's really quick. Day 3 of the APT Manila was full of excitement. I like the APT events, they're, they're very well run. And the people here in the Philippines are just so genuinely friendly and welcoming. It was a really pleasant surprise. There's so many guys that, lo that love to gamble in general. They're starting to learn poker and they're like addicted to playing poker. I love the structures that APT creates and also the party. I think like all of my opponents are really good players. They are here for, for a reason, of course. I think that we all deserve the table is really, really good table. Really strong field. From 254 to 137. From 42 to 10 lucky players that are going to sit down and play the final table of APT Manila. Wow, the final 10 players of the APT Philippines 2012 main event. Round of applause guys, we did a positive end. And number two, eighth place finisher guys, Antonio Martin. And finally, two best friends from South Africa, Conrad Ketzer and Didon LaRue, battle it out for the first prize of 197,000 US dollars. Conrad, congratulations. Thank you. Second place, are you happy or disappointed? I'm pretty happy for second place. Like, at least my friend win it, so we know each other pretty well. Congratulations. Thanks very much. 197,000, what are you going to do with it? Great. Um, don't know yet. Probably going to put it in the bank for a while. Just stay fast. There's a lot of action. The blinds, when the blinds got a little bit bigger, we had to make a couple of moves, try to get chips. But overall, it was quite tough. Good table. And it's a wrap here at the APT Manila 2012 main event. We had girls play poker, we had exciting side events, and now we also have a new champion. Thank you for watching. This is Tatiana Bashevich for CalvinHair.com.